navigating combines in Tennessee, an ass wagon cuts me off in Tennessee, freeways that just end in Arkansas, and more on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here, and thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. All right, what is it? Saturday, the 29th of October. Boy, we're already, isn't that crazy? We're already almost into November for crying out loud. Anyway, uh, yeah, I had a nice long break there at the Loves in Holiday, Tennessee. Uh, lovely, nice fall day. Driving along here. I'm gonna end up taking uh, 840 around Nashville instead of going straight through. It's an extra 15 minutes, but just not dealing with Nashville is worth it to me. So we're gonna be doing that. Uh, I already cut an S clown, cutting me off as we were running into a big traffic backup that was caused just by a cop having somebody pulled over. She did roll her window down and apologize and said, Well, sorry, I had to swerve. And went, well, Thank God I wasn't real heavy. I was able to stop in time. But anyway, if if I go straight through Nashville, I'm sure I'd catch three or four ass wagons doing something in front of me. But you know, I decided let's. I've got time. Let's take the path of less resistance. What do you think? Well, that is the first time I think I've ever done the actual whole loop there from 40 back to 40 on 840 to go around Nashville and. Yeah, that's worth it. Uh, 15 minutes more, maybe. But see, that's just where, you know, they don't take into account all the traffic and the hassles and backups and crap going through the middle of Nashville, even on a Saturday afternoon. That's worth it to me. The less stress. If you're ever driven through Nashville, you know, just to stay on the same highway, you got to keep changing lanes like 85 million times. It's ridiculous. This was just we're smooth sailing, baby, yeah. I would definitely do this again. It's worth it. Because then, you know, if you, when you're maintaining a steady speed the whole time, you get better fuel economy. So it was, uh, I think, 18 miles longer, and the GPS was telling me 15 minutes longer. But really, with all the, the traffic going through Nashville, it probably wasn't any longer at all. And a lot less stressful, what do you think? On my way to Humboldt, Tennessee, <clears throat> with that delivery of flour that I picked up in Plainview, Texas, for a Thursday night, they told me it was 7 p.m., and of course, no, it was 10 p.m. But anyway, uh, I ran into a couple of combines. One I was behind, and I was trying to get around. Luckily, he pulled over and kind of let me get around him. And then another one approached, uh, it was coming the other way. Luckily, able to sneak around that guy, because of course, we're on these little two-lane highways. So I am too little long, I had to slow way down because there's this big combine in front of me. And he has to slow down and stop and get as far to the right as he can to let that traffic go by the other direction. And he starts speeding up and I'm like, oh, okay, I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get around this guy at all or not. I think he finally looked in the mirror and realized, yeah, there's traffic behind him. So he pulls off as far as he can to the right again. I go to as far to the left as I can, a little on the shoulder there where there's barely his shoulder. I managed to get around him. Yeah, then a little bit later on, on this exact same highway, driving along, and look, there's a combine coming the other way. And again, luckily I can sneak far enough to the right because of that driveway, and he goes far enough to the right on his side. We got around. Then just yesterday, which would have been Saturday at this point, um, driving along that loop around, uh, you know, Nashville, the 840. And uh, I'm looking up to the left, I'm like, that looks kind of like a castle or something. Take a look at this. That was pretty cool. All right, also, uh, before we got to the Nashville area, before I took that loop, of course, you know, traffic's coming down to a slowdown uh, for some reason, Don't didn't know why at this point, and this uh, woman in the left lane, not paying attention, whips over right in front of me, because of course I can stop on a dime. All right, look carefully at this car right there, and they're not paying attention, and hey, they slip right over in front of me, and hit the brakes, gotta love it. And now what it looks like more from my perspective in the truck, yes, the Clutch Trucker Zoom and Slow-Mo. 
she's not paying attention, has to whip over to the right because she couldn't break in time. And this is what it looked like in front of me. I just about hit her. Yeesh. After she got back over to the left and I got up next to her, she did roll down her window and say, well, sorry, I had to swerve over. And I said, yeah, because you weren't paying attention. And of course I can stop on a dime, lady. Annoying. And then of course, what was the whole backup for? This. Yeah, because the cop had a couple of cars pulled over. Uh, they may have had an accident, I don't know, but that was the reason for this whole backup. And as I was driving on Highway 67, I believe it is, they keep saying future corridor of I-57. They've been saying that for years. It's not gonna be fully complete anytime in my lifetime, probably. Um, Arkansas, especially, and a lot of the Southern states are really famous for this. Well, in Pennsylvania too, in the Northeast, they'll fund a portion of a highway or a couple of portions of it, and then they don't have the rest of the funding and they just stop. So you're going along this nice four lane, you know, interstate type highway and all of a sudden it just ends and you got to exit and you can see like the bridge up ahead where they've got that part planned, but the roadway just ends. Here's an example. So you're driving along, everything seems fine on this four lane highway. Oh, what's that? You got to drop down to 55. Why? Hmm, that's kind of strange. What's this one? Oh, uh, the left lane's merging into the right. What does that mean? That's kind of odd too. Oh, and you see the left lane disappears and there were yellow lines coming over, merging down into one lane. You're like, that's weird. We're on this nice four lane highway. What's going on up ahead? Well, look on up ahead and you can see now the Jersey walls there. It starts to force you off to the right side. You're like, well, this is weird. It's a nice four lane highway, but look right up here ahead. Oh, yeah, it's going to end right after that bridge. <laughs> yep, that's what's going on. They didn't fund the rest of the roadway. So now you got to exit down to a little two-lane highway again. Like I say, the South is riddled for that. There was this whole interchange uh, in Arkansas near Texarkana on the Arkansas side where they had these bridges and ramps done for years until they finally got it all connected. And this was only about a year ago they finished that off. They tend to fund things, but not all the way. Now, not to just to rag on the South, I grew up in Colorado and Colorado has always been about 30 years behind the whole freeway and highway plan. By the time they finally get around to expanding a, a highway from two to three lanes or something, it's already too late. By the time they open that, it needs to be four or five. All right, so uh, delivering on Monday, uh, you know, I got here to uh, this Petro in Glade Spring. I always want to say Glade Springs, but no, it's not. It's Glade Spring, Virginia. It's about, I had to go about 15 miles further than I needed to go because my uh, delivery is in Abington, uh, Virginia for Monday morning, a load of lawnmowers. But uh, it made more sense to come up here because I could reserve a spot. Uh, and uh, get a good parking place and I'll just stay here. And the other reason is because I know that this Petro right next to it, nearby, there's a Dollar General. So I'm gonna go over and resupply the truck, uh, you know, with more groceries and things and all that to put in my fridge and freezer. Because as you know, I eat mainly out of the truck. And so I need to get some more supplies there. Uh, I ordered a few things off of Amazon. Hopefully I'm gonna try to be in Youngstown or near it in the next few days. So I ordered some stuff going that way to one of those Amazon lockers. Hopefully I can pick those up. And one of them is a lapel mic that I can attach directly to the phone. Hopefully that'll solve all my microphone, external microphone, static issues. What do you think? So then Monday, I'm going to start calling around. I know Mark and Sosa are all going to be working on it for me too, to try to find a good load. Uh, if I can find a nice little short hop to get me up to Ohio, something else for this week's check, that'll be good. And I, I still need to come across cross paths with uh, Mark to get my new e-log, the big road e-log, and to give him a whole bunch of paperwork uh, and some other things. So hopefully we can get that taken care of. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Just a few little road video things as we're uh, making our way to our delivery in Abington, Virginia for tomorrow. Or for, well, I guess technically at this point, yeah, it is tomorrow. 
seeing as how it's now early Sunday morning, right? There you go. Uh, of course, Rusty patiently doing his opening and close so he can get his begging strip. Oh yeah, you're waiting for that now, aren't you? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. Please like and comment. Get to your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. Don't forget to ring that bell for notifications so you know when the new videos come out. Uh, there's Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter. I always put rusty stuff there. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. I tell you, Donnie, I, I'm going to, you know, talk to you uh, with the skipper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like a, like a chain of command, kind of like the army. The army? It ain't nothing like the army. The army is some guy telling you to go whack some guy you don't know. It ain't nothing like the army. All right, he's watching it. There it goes. Oh, come on. You're cheating. Come down here. You got to wait till I throw it. Come down. There it goes. All right. All over that Megan Strip, baby. Because he's a meatball, Mr. Dog. And he's got that furry face. He is crunching on his bacon strip. He loves them all day long, Mr. Dog. He's a meatball with a really furry face. Right, Rusty? We're just looking at the top of your head here. Come on. <laughs> all right, he's almost got it. A couple little pieces I see down there. He's still got a finish up all right you've almost got it buddy almost got it I see some more down there get it all right you got him think you're done happy dog look rusty think you got it buddy come on look up here we need to see the smiling fuzzer face